How's it going, everybody? Long time no here, right? It's been a while since I've given you guys an update. So I have, I think, at least three videos uh, in the works, uh, actual long episodes that um, I just haven't had time to edit yet, and I need to give you guys some sort of an update. So I'm going to do a quick vlog tonight and walk you around the car and show you what we've been doing uh, and, and some of the progress that has been made that you're unaware of. And, uh, and just apologize, um, life has been a little crazy these last couple months. Um, I've been uh, taking care of my grandfather for the last couple months. Um, he passed away this past week and the funeral was yesterday. Um, it's been a tough uh, couple months and I've been uh, hospice care for him for, for some time. Um, so that has taken up a lot of my time. I have been traveling a lot as well. Um, in fact, six o'clock tomorrow morning, I'll be in Kansas. Uh, for the week. Uh, a couple weeks later, I'll be in Florida and then Texas. Uh, they tell me that I will be headed to Germany sometime in the next month as well. So a lot uh, is getting in the way of trying to get this car done before Hot Rod Power Tour. That is, at this point, I think literally like 101, 102 days away. So I'm legitimately panicking right now. So let me show you what I've gotten done on the car so far and bring you guys up to date. And just know that uh, there will be some episodes on some of the stuff that you're seeing. So you're getting a little bit of a preview of some of the work, but I won't give you any details. You'll see that in the full episode. Okay, back here, there is the short block. Well, actually it's not even a short block. It's just the bare block. <laughs> Uh, it's covered up in plastic right now because it has been to the machine shop. I had it honed out. I had it uh, dipped and cleaned out and we did take it to uh, an actual engine builder. Uh, I can't reveal who it is or where he is because he just asked that we do not that we don't do that. Um, but he was incredibly gracious enough to take Nathaniel under his wing and show him how to properly um, mic and check uh, clearances and uh, and build a motor the right way. And um, we're trying to get back up there again. We've only been up there once. We've not actually done any assembly on the motor. But I don't want to give away too much of that. So uh, that will be an upcoming episode. So that's going on. As you can see right here, here is, uh, <laughs> this is a crank in uh, plastic right now. As it turns out, the crank that I had in the motor was shot, and I had to buy a new crank, so that's just uh, oiled up and sealed. Um, there's the rest of the motor kind of disassembled. Here's my comp cams, a uh, 260H, 260H hydraulic uh, extreme energy cam. I forgot to mention the heads, they actually came back, um, but and they've been uh, completely refreshed, but I don't have any rockers for them yet, I gotta buy those. And aluminum intake. I just got the uh, the brand new rods connected to the pistons, and uh, so that's what's going on with the motor right there. All right, so over here on the car itself, I know you've probably seen this before, but what you didn't know was that this hatchback was never really attached. Uh, we had to take it off to do the roof swap, and so I had to find uh, and salvage some old uh, hinges. So the hinges are on there, uh, there's weather strip underneath. This spoiler was retrofitted to that because this car was not originally equipped with a spoiler. So we have drilled the holes, actually got this thing completely mounted down now. These tail lights are finally gonna go in for the last time, but the reason that they're not in right now is because of that little provision right there. I don't know if you can see it, but we need to make an indent right there and a hole for the wiring. Speaking of wiring, holy cow, there is one uh, old hacked up wiring harness right there on the floor. Um, as you look inside the car itself, you can see that there is the part of the, the rest of that wiring harness. And uh, you might also notice that there is no dashboard, no controls, no anything inside here. It is completely, of course, minus all the garbage that's in there right now, stripped to bare metal. Uh, I just got these doors permanently mounted, uh, this side and the other side. And right now, as you can see, I'm working on trying to get the glass reattached. Um, all this lock hardware and bracing and door handle was all completely removed because there was a little, a couple rough spots on the bottom of it that I thought I was gonna to try to repair and restore. And I just don't have time. 
So the door's going back together. I wish I had never taken it apart because that would have saved me a ton of time. Uh, what else? Let's see. Walk around the car here. As you can see, the other, uh, other doors on there. This is kind of cool. Um, all this trim that you see right here is very unique to the glass roof. Um, don't mind my junk. It's on top of the roof here, but now you can actually see the glass roof as it should look as it's installed. There's the roof crown molding. It's finally permanently installed. I had to drill a bunch of holes. Um, weather stripping is getting ready to go on. It's all the little stuff, guys. It's the time killers that are gonna get us. Um, I don't have any glass back in here yet. And no windshield in front of the car. And uh, this front of the car here is, this is an NOS hood that I had. This is not actually the hood that's gonna go in the car, but uh, underneath that hood, it's completely barren. There's nothing down there. No engine, uh, it's in pieces as you saw over there. Um, no brakes, no gaunt lines, no gas lines, no brake lines. Yeah, we're in trouble. And uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know if we're going to get this car done in time. But we're going to do our best. Uh, what else? Here's another thing. Did you guys notice the front of the car sitting on the ground down here? I don't, uh, I don't even have any of that. Uh, mounted on the front of the car yet not to mention the um, the changes to the wiring harness that are necessary because I went from a two headlight uh, Car to a four headlight and the taillights are different as well. So even the wiring harnesses that I have I'm gonna have to splice and um, Make new provisions for the extra lights that are in the car. I apologize for the lighting as well guys um, I don't actually have any lights in my garage. All I have are these Actually, there's one right above me. That's out right there I have this string of construction lights. It's just kind of stapled to my ceiling right now. That's all I have. The rest of it is just pitch black. Um, yeah, budget constraints. So, all right, that's it, guys. Uh, I hope I didn't depress you too badly. We are still going to be on power tour somehow. I hope it's in this car. I really do. That's been our goal all along, and Nathaniel has been dreaming about it. And we've been talking about it so much that um, it's just going to be, it's going to break my heart. It's going to break his heart. Uh, it's going to crush mine if we can't get this car done in time. We may not even have an interior in this thing. I don't care as long as it drives and we have a couple seats bolted down. It's probably going to be bare metal. But if it runs and drives, we're going to be there. So I hope you guys like this update. Um, we'll have a couple episodes coming out to you very soon. I just have to have time to edit them. Uh, hopefully maybe in the hotel this week while I'm uh, in Kansas uh, I can maybe get one episode out to you and we will see you soon with an actual episode. Take care guys